As a DevOps engineer, it's important to manage dashboards, visualizations of metrics and how your system works. Now, in a big shop, you know, a Google, a Gojek, you'd probably be using uh, Grafana and you'd be using something like JSON app. But personally, I'm very happy to use AWS console and I'm just going to show you how I establish a dashboard using CloudWatch and then I replicate that across different environments using Terraform. So let's get started. First off, um, there's no dashboard here. Let's, let's just create one. Like this is like uh, my sort of like creation type thing, you know, uh, or, or what I'm going to use as the basis for the export. So it, you know, just for me, basically, it's just like my scratch, whatever. Doesn't matter. I then like to use like sort of the automatic um, stuff just to give me the the bases I should cover. Like for example, if I go and, and look at, at at like an application and I click into monitoring, I can see, you know, these things you know look like a good starting point, and then I just add them to the dashboard. Right, add it to the dashboard and select the uh, you know just some me scratch whatever, and it's there. Now, of course, you want want to like you know uh, think about the story you want to tell. Maybe it's important to highlight the errors and 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 no, no one cares about the other stuff like I don't know concurrent execution executions looks a bit boring. You know, and you think about the audience, um, you know all that jazz. Um, sometimes I like to sort of. Um, just go put them. I don't know. This doesn't seem to be a super easy way of m making them snap. So I kind of like arrange them like this. You know, you just you get the idea, right? Maybe I also want to tweak um, uh, other stuff like the duration or something. Doesn't really matter. And of course, I can add more widgets as I see fit. Whatever. Doesn't doesn't really matter. The important thing I want to show you here is that you, you come you design the dashboard here using the, the 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 simple UI here. But the tricky thing is is how do you operationalize that? You do that using uh, Terraform. And to do to, to, to make that next step, you just go view edit source and you copy the source out. And then you plunk that into your Terraform uh, place. So here is an example of Terraform place that I've established for you. I'm just going to copy this into uh, dashboard here. I'm just going to go x clip uh, minus o to into that dashboard. Sorry, I can hardly type today. So now, now that I'm looking at this, probably just want to reformat it. There might be elements here that you need to change. Like you might need to change like a dev into uh, you, you might need to change an environment variable, um, but just to keep things simple, I'm just going to change the region. I'm going to I'm going to make that uh, a variable. I think I've already did that earlier. So what I did was change all the occurrences AP Southeast One Singapore into this variable. This dollar um, <clears throat> squiggly brackets AWS region. So the way that works is that inside this dashboard the, uh, TF. You put the, the variables that you want to use, so you can you can do AWS region. You can do you can if if there was I don't think there is a dev in this thing. Um, you would you would perhaps do that. So basically, you you use a Terraform like this. The Terraform is pretty nice because you got your 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 dashboard JSON. You got the the name, which is also based on a couple of variables. Have a look around, and you'll see how it works. And then simply, you know, you do a um, apply, and it will show you what the the dashboard looks like filled in. Like for example, the region now is all being filled in. And then I just uh, apply it, and then there should be a dashboard created. So now, if I go back to dashboard, you see like I have now this dash dev metrics thing. Which should be exactly the same as what I just earlier designed. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I showed you how to, 
to operationalize an AWS dashboard. You first sort of make your own little scratch thing, you export it, you dump it into, into Terraform. I showed you how to tweak the variables inside the, um, the dashboard JSON. And now with this knowledge, you can build dashboards in any AWS console across many different environments and manage it nicely in Git in Terraform. Good luck, guys. If you know better, comment below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. See ya.